Hello everyone, Mike from GadgetGuruClub.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about setting up a WordPress site, building it up a little bit. Now, you will have to spend a little bit of money because you're going to have to buy a domain name, you will have to buy hosting. So, I'll throw some links for some promotions for that in the description. But when you set up your hosting and your website, you're going to go to your control panel of your hosting. And it probably will look something like this. This is, uh, I have Eco Web Hosting. And so this is um, a lot to this interface here. But we're worried about WordPress right now. So you log in to this, your hosting, and you want to click WordPress icon there because you're going to have to set up WordPress on your website. So as you can see, it's a one-click install. So we're doing it for the main site. So we click that to install it. And then as you can see, it's been successfully installed. And you click this to go to the website. All right, so it's going to go ahead and take us through the steps. Um, let's make this rev rec. This is just for educational purposes. Um, I'm not actually going to use this site for this but um they're my spam email I've had for a long time I mean, you can obviously make your own password and make sure you remember that all right so it takes us to the next step you click log in put in your password and voila we're here so you can update that so if you go to the website it's already set up so there you go you have a WordPress site and they they put in their generic theme that you'll change alright so the theme that I'm going to show you very good theme Envato Market. Oh, I did it. So you want to Google that. Okay, Market. And then you go here, right, and set up. You put in Flatsum. You search that. So, over 3,000 ratings five stars not too expensive now, the thing is you can use it more than once I don't know if they have a limit honestly I I used it for I have four sites that are using it um, so it's definitely not less than four so so here we here's a preview now the thing that's cool about this. It's just, it's kind of geared towards if you're selling something on your website, but you don't have to use it for that. Um, it's like a theme within a theme. So you can go down here, and they have like a few that you can choose from, whatever layout that you like best. There's like more than one. So that's kind of why I like this. No coding required. So when you do, you can purchase this, and then you go in and... Um, Sign in. Okay. My computer's a little slow. I just did the history delete. So I deleted all the cookies and such. Um, Alright, so you go to your downloads. And then you want to download all files and documentation. Okay. Because you want to go, when you go back here, okay, so on the main you want to go to themes for appearance, okay, because you want to go to add new, alright, so it's finished downloading, so we open that up, alright, let's see, so the easiest thing to do is go into your downloads and drag it to your desktop and then unzip it, because you want to get the file in it which you want to have flat some main once you unzip it and then you're going to go to theme files and you want to go to flat some 3.3 so this is the newest one out 
and you want to choose this one. So when you go to choose file, that's where you go to find it. And then you want to click install. So there you go. It's a live preview. So it's pretty basic right now. So it changed from that to this is what it looks like. So you can tweak all this stuff. Um, now, easiest thing we can do right now, I'm gonna activate it. And then it's gonna take you to this. So this is really nice. Let's get your, your theme set up for you. Whoop. Did I choose? This is what we can do. Open details. Alright, so now you can go back to where you purchased it and you download your um your purchase code. So you put your purchase code in there and then you just hit return or enter. And then it'll go ahead and activate it. Um then you want to go over here and click that, and then you want to run the setup wizard. I'm going to redo this. Continue. I skipped that. You want to set these up. I mean, you can always deactivate them, but it's good. Um, especially if you have a store, like this one's very important right here that's like specifically for people that want to sell things on their WordPress site so you go ahead and let it install these we'll go ahead and stop and then pick up when it's done alright so once it finished it took me to this next page so I'm gonna go ahead and just add all these in So it went from plugins, now it's doing the content. So you want to have, you want to make sure you do this step because this is going to put in all the demo content. So it's a lot. It's going to save you a lot of time just tweaking what they already have opposed to building it from scratch. And this is one of the benefits of purchasing a theme because sometimes you'll see a preview of a theme and it'll look amazing and then when you add it you know when you get it on your wordpress site for free it looks like nothing and it's like do you really feel like sitting there i mean this this will save you hours having all this demo content that comes with purchasing the theme so set up all right so once you do that you have all these options to choose from Instead of just one option because you bought one theme, you kind of you have all these. So we'll go with, we'll pick this one. You can always change this later because as you can, it asked me to run the setup wizard again. So now you can view. See, look at so this is already set up. So all I had to do is tweak this information. So. There's a few ways um, you can do with that. Click this and then also edit page. Okay. So edit page. I don't really like to do it this way. Um, you can't really tweak it like that. So we'll exit out of that one. Um, this one is the nicest way to do it. Night <clears throat> and the easiest. Like, all you have to do, like, click on the background, and as you can see, all this came up. So I can change the background. Um, you can upload a file. So, like, let's see. It says you can see it changed. And you can change that. So you can click on the text. You can change the text. Right? Apply. Um, and then you can add content. Like say you want to add 
a divider you can put it there right apply and then you can move it so the browse portfolio section but all you have to do is click on the section and then it'll go into the options and this is the benefit of buying a premium theme you you have all this and this layout is very nice um, so like say I want to add let's see another grid like just basically you want to put some pictures of this stuff that you're going to feature on your website so you can choose any of these and then this is going to code all this for you and put it on your website so you can add like a picture there so let's say I add an image um, I wish they would give a little bit better pictures to choose from but you get the point um, you just click apply and then you update it and then also you can do it this way like you can go it'll show you alright so there's the logo right and you can change that you know, upload your own logo right you can get rid of theirs these like all you have to do is hover over them and it's gonna show you so right here all you'd have to do is just type in the URL to your own Facebook page for your business or anything any of these icons that you have something if you have a Twitter for your business or your website you put them all in it's going to automatically, when someone clicks, it's going to take them there. Like, they do all that coding for you. And if you don't have a Twitter or Instagram, all you got to do is just delete it. And it goes away. So you can go, you can tweak these things, um, the color and such. Like you can go down here, let's see, go down to the bottom. I'm not showing on that, but uh, okay. Yeah, I gotta go back one more, a little bit. Okay, so there we want to touch the footer, so we can change this name, website, and I'll go down there. Um, you can change these. You can go in here. It's like your blog. Right? Um, and then if you want to change, another thing comes in handy. If you go back, you can save and publish this. And whatever tweaks you make, those two come in handy. And, and then you want to exit out of this. Right? If you want to change, all right, and go back, dashboard. If you want to change the menus, like if you go, let's see, go back here and then go to visit site. Alright, so we have the demo and then it has all of these. Right? So there you go. When you click, it shows all of that. But maybe you don't want, you want it to say what you want. Right? So you can make your own pages you add a page and then you can make a link you can make um, a post and you can put it on this main but and then you can remove these so you can put if you want to remove these guys like move the whole thing All right business and then you just make your own and you save that menu this will be for the main menu and then when you go back to the site it put them all you'd have to actually delete these one by one um, but you can say like you see if remove right and then you can put refresh this see like it's gone now it just shows that so you can remove these and if you want 
Like, say you change your mind and you're like, I don't want... I mean, you can always go back to the setup wizard and just change the theme. Or if you want to, you can go in here. You go down to settings. Just reading. Okay. So right now, agency is the main page. That's the name of it. Um, so... You can you can change that too. Like if you want it to say like you go to your pages, all pages. So, so there it is, and it says it's the front page. Then they have like a blog, so it's already set up. Whenever you post a blog, it'll go onto this page. So that's like, well, sh like if if you want people, to, if you want to send them to like your blog. It'll auto, it auto it it automatically set it up. So there you go. Everything you anything you post will be on here. Okay. But right now this is the front page. Now we can change this. We can edit the name because like right now it's saying all right. So like it's the main page. But we can change this. Update it. Right, so when you go, instead of somebody seeing agency, when they go to it, they'll just see the name of your actual website. Um, but say you don't want this as your main page anymore, you can go into here and you can check. We'll go into this one, right? Explore. And then this is the different... A little bit of a different layout that's a pretty cool layout see like these don't have to be store you know you can use this for a blog or whatever business maybe like a local business or something you can you can tweak this around to make it look the way you want to but say you wanted to make this your main page all you'd have to do is just go you just click that right and then from here you can go in there and just tweak it like this this thing wasn't on there when I bought it like a year ago but now they have this and it just makes it so much more convenient it saves so much time all you have to do like click on the outside you can change the background there's so many things you can like do effects on it you know, it's pretty cool it's very quick so all you have to do apply update and voila, you know, it's, it's, this thing is definitely nice. I would recommend it, and it's going to save you a lot of time. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.